welcome to another episode of the Hobo and his Girlfriend. My name is Hobo Tom, and today we have two special guest hosts. We have my girlfriend via cell phone, and to talk about the math and to do summer sound predictions with my girlfriend, the one and only Dr. Tom. Hobo Tom, thank you very much for that introduction. My name is Dr. Tom, as you can tell by my magnificent robes of office. We're joined by Hobo Tom's girlfriend, the ever-beautiful, lovely, vivacious, and person who actually holds a real job, Heather. Hello! Yes, so this Hobo setup somewhat does work. I'm amazed that Hobo can do anything right. Do you, you know... So this weekend, this Sunday, is going to be SummerSlam, the main, the main wrestling event of the summer, where all the truly civilized people go to enjoy the grappling and the competition. So I was asked to do predictions. Seems like such a plebeian thing. I shall discuss some of the math involved with my predictions, along with the hobo's most Beautiful girlfriend, Heather. So, the Hello. first map. Yep. Can you hear me, Heather? Yes, I can. Excellent. Let's begin. The game is afoot. So, this is a very long match, long card. It starts at 5 p.m. And for those of you watching the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast, the Hobo will be online about 5 p.m. to start his live stream. For a SummerSlam, at least. And we have three matches during the pre-show. Um, I do not know which order they are in. The Hobo has his terrible writing stylus. He has crayons he draws with. So uncivilized. Crayon. Yes. <laughs> Going to give it to her granddaughter. Yeah. Yeah. Don't buy from me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's a Bonus features. Okay. All right. Sorry. Are you fully prepared? Are you fully prepared for this? To make your predictions. Predictions. Well, who? Who? Yes, we're going to start the, those predictions now. And I shall go over some math as well. So the first match in the pre-show. Horrid idea. We have Cedric Alex for the Cruiserweight Championship. We have Cedric Alexander versus Drew Gulak. I shall go first. Drew Gulak is a man of refined taste. He chooses to educate the WWE Universe with his PowerPoints that he's done in the past. I am going to choose Drew Gulak. Miss Heather, who are you going to choose? Go for the second one. Drew Gulak, excellent choice. Unlike Hobo Tom, you are a woman of refined taste. Then we have in the second, we have an intergender match. Intriguing. We have Rusev and his wife Lana versus Andrade Cien Almas and Zelina Vega. Since I chose first, my lady, you go next. I go the first one. You're going to see, what's this note? You declare it to be a Rusev day. Hmm. Yep. I think Andrade Almas and Zelina Vega will pick up the win. My most nefarious means by that way of aiding English. So I have Andrade Almas and Zelina Vega. And then in the third match of the pre show, you have the B team of Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas versus Dash and Dawson of the Revival. For I am a man of cultured taste and of old school lineage. I do appreciate the finer things, especially old school tag teams. Such as Legion of Doom, Steiner Brothers, Wild Samoans, 
Varsity Club, Orient Express, 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 The Midnight Express, 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 The Rock and Roll Express. So therefore, I'm going to go with the revival. The revival. I'm going to go with the other one. Okay, so you choose the beat. You choose the beat. Excellent. Excellent. Maybe that's better. Maybe that's better. There we go. Technical setup of Hobo Jones. Hobo. So now let's get to the main card. And the first match of the main, uh, well, some match of the main card. There we go. Do that the old fashioned way. This hobo setup of his. We have, let's say, Daniel Bryant versus The Miz. For what man just goes by one name alone? But The Miz is most entertaining. I choose The Miz. Daniel Bryant. Ooh, intriguing choice. Then we have Finn Balor, Irishman, versus the constable himself, Baron Corbin. Because I'm going to do the math behind this match. The math says because Baron Corbin stood tall and attacked Finn Balor. The go home show. I choose, I'm, my choice, my prediction will be Finn Balor. Yes, another choice for Finn Balor. Then, again, in no particular order, we have for the Money in the Bank Championship, who would ever carry around a briefcase all the time and declare himself to be a monster among men? We have Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens for the Money in the Bank Championship. Braun Strowman is too much of a monster. But Kevin Owens very wily. Hmm. Who do you choose? Choose the second guy. Kevin Owens, intriguing choice. I think there's going to be a play of foot in this wrestling tradition of having this money in the bank contract. I say it's going to be the monster among men, Braun Strowman. Then the next match we have, or some other match, we start to get into the true titles. Champions are made. We have the Bludgeon Brothers of Luke Harper and Rowan. Harper and Rowan. I forget their names. They're just known as the Bludgeon Brothers. Versus this team of the days of new with a new day most intriguing I believe just to make the fans happy they shall have the new day be victorious how about you um, the first one the bludgeon brothers Ooh. excellent choice good, po good possible choice then we have the man from the Orient, Shinsuke Nakamura, a man of true wrestling pedigree, versus this face-painted clown of Jeff Hardy for the United States Championship. Intriguing. Held by the man from Japan, Shinsuke Nakamura. Indeed. I saw say Shinsuke Nakamura retains his championship. And Heather, what is your decision on this matter? The first choice. Shinsuke Nakamura. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Then we get into the Intercontinental Championship. Championship held between continents. Featuring Dolph Ziggler, the champion, with Drew McIntyre, the Scotsman, 
in his corner versus Seth Rollins. And if I can read this Scrabble correctly, that's done in purple crayon. Seth Rollins and and some lunatic named Dean Ambrose in his corner. This is most intriguing. I have a feeling. I shall let the lady go first. I'll do the second guy. Seth Rollins. This is a very intriguing matchup. Again, on one side you have a lunatic. Who knows what goes through the mind of a lunatic? I say it shall be Seth Rollins, but expect something out of the ordinary to happen during this match. And we have another late ladies' competition. I wonder if they were all white like they do at Wimbledon. Hmm, intriguing. We have Carmella, who is a princess of Staten Island, ironic, and occurs in Brooklyn, versus the Irish lass, Becky Lynch, versus wrestling royalty herself, Charlotte Flair, in a triple threat match for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. This is intriguing. I think Carmella is going to retain her belt. There will be friction between the two tea time toting friends of Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. My lady, what do you say? I'm going with Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Intriguing choice. If this got to get this got to get this got to get this got to get So this hobo has, hobo has this terrible office. office, office. I know he's off in the street collecting shoe leather for dinner and pieces of aluminum. What a hobo. And then you have the other ladies match between Alexa Bliss and Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Hmm. Who do you think is going to prevail in this athletic endeavor? I'll go with Rowdy. The Rowdy one. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. I have a feeling that that's going to happen as well. Then we have, of course, the phenomenal one. The man of legitimate wrestling pedigree himself. AJ Styles. Versus Samoa Joe. Wild man from Samoa, the destroyer for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And what is this creature? He just saunters in this room. Oh, this, this hobo leaves wild animals. Well, he lets me deal with them. So I shall say Samoa Joe. Wins and probably the match of the evening. How about you, Heather? I'm going to do AJ Styles. The phenomenal one. Very hard to go wrong with that. Then, probably in the main event, we have the big dog himself. Why would any man refer to himself as a dog? I is beyond someone as educated as myself. But he is also known as Roman Reigns versus a legitimate fighter formerly of the UFC and Brock Lesnar. I see shenanigans occurring at the end of this match. I say Roman Reigns wins, but as an added stipulation, the monster among men. Ooh, no. Better yet. The beast incarnate Brock Lesnar wins, but in his tiredness of going a very long athletic endeavor, such as professional wrestling, is tired and exhausted. And that's when 
The Monster Among Men cashes in. And even though Brock Lesnar wins, overall Braun Strowman becomes the championship. So Heather, just between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, who do you think is going to prevail in this ultimate athletic achievement? The second guy. Brock Lesnar. Very good. Well, I would like to thank you, Miss Heather, for joining me. Your voice sounds quite lovely. And I'm sure you are a very beautiful and charming woman in real life as well. That's not to say for that hobo.